It's raining tonight in Valheim. I think it's tonight. Maybe it's today in Valheim. And I was thinking about how I've gotten uh, a, a number of requests from people asking uh, if I could do some kind of uh, content, residual content or whatever uh, with Valheim. And I was thinking like, what can I do? Because everything takes like hours to do. Like, every, like I want to go and do blank and it takes hours to do that. And the reason why it takes hours is because you end up getting sidetracked. You got to do this, you got to do that. Uh, and then you're like, okay, I'm gonna make a list. I'm gonna go do these two things. And then <sighs> those two things turn into like 20 things because you always get pulled off to the side to do blank or whatever. <laughs> it just turns into a freaking mess. But I decided, you know what? Like this is the same thing I did with Don't Starve. When I was playing Don't Starve and it was like a daily episode or whatever, uh, it was just me just progressing through the days, just surviving. That's all, just surviving. And I felt like, well, why, why can't I do that with Valheim? It's, it's big. I don't have a hunger mechanic, sure. The nighttime's not going to kill me directly. <laughs> Indirectly, perhaps. Uh, but, you know, just, why not? Why don't we just go ahead and get in here? We'll knock. I play this game all the time. Uh, it is my new MMO. So let's get in here and let's go and just do some stuff. Like, here's what I'm thinking today. I'm thinking, as you can see, I've already explored the majority of my island. It's kind of part of the starter island here. Um, I am going to, uh, well, you know what? Let's just go and teleport over there. We're going to go and teleport to base number two. You know how we should start this, though? Actually, this is the first episode. And let me tell you, this this series, I guess we call it, this series is, is going to feel weird if you're watching the live stream and then watching this. Because the timing of this is probably going to fall behind the live stream because the live stream is like four hours that I end up doing, right? Um, and, you know, this is basically like 30 to 45 minute episodes. Uh, so the first thing I want to do before we get started, wait, but to finish that thought. Um, so if you're watching both, the timing might be kind of weird. But some of the stuff that I think I want to do in this is more exploration base uh, where I'm going through and marking locations and marking things to do that I could do, uh, you know, that I could do later on, whether it's on a stream or on one of these videos. Um, so I think the first thing I should do is probably give you guys a tour of the place. Now, as everything that I do in any of these kind of sandbox building games, everything is a work in progress. Um, initially, I put one egg next to my bed. I thought it'd be kind of funny. Uh, or three eggs next to my bed. Or, sorry, two eggs next to my bed, and then somebody put the other two here. Um, <laughs> I, I made this bed. Oh, God, it's crooked. Damn it, that was next. That was totally next. That wasn't me. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I made I made a bed that I thought, you know, a little kind of, uh, you know, ridiculous. Got a nice little view, a little patio. Um, eventually, I'm going to put, like, a little fence out here or something. I don't know. Maybe not. Um, I actually don't like how low the ceiling is right here. I was kind of disappointed in myself for that so I might have to figure out a way to fix that another time but not right now again um, I don't actually don't spend a lot of time here really the only thing I care about is this area this is my workshop area uh, it has a level 5 workbench and a level 5 forge now I can make this a level 6 forge but I don't have the resources to do that just yet so I need like 30 iron or something like that um, I have basic, you know, basic, you know, supplies in terms of like our basic structures to build to to to, uh, to cook. You can't put fires on uh, on logs anymore, so this is now a permanent fixture. You can see I also have another one over here. Uh, you can't do that anymore, so that's now permanent as well. Um, <clears throat> maybe I could put a bonfire in the house, and that'll basically like take care of the entire house. Um, so I'm pretty far-ish into the game, but there's still so much more. There's still so much more to explore, so much more to do. And the game really has become an MMO to me, where it's like I get in to do a handful of things, and then I, you know, log out, and then I go, um, or sorry, then I go out and explore and do whatever. Like, if I go over here and farm, or I'll go mine some stuff, and I'll come back, and I'll load these guys up, and I'll let them I'll have a seat, and I'll just basically sit there and watch them as they spit things out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll go collect all my carrots and go and cook some carrot soup. I'll uh, make some mead, which makes potions and all that. So there's a number of things that uh, that you could do just to like you know fill the time. Um, this is supposed to be the living room here, but it's, just, it's the ceiling's too low. I don't really like it. Like overall, I don't, I'm not really a fan of the house. I should just tear it down and just leave it as just this little structure here, simply for this. But it's already built. It's kind of a pain in the ass to take down. So meh. Now, <laughs> now the second area over here is um, this is a next ne next next uh, Kyoto, I believe. Uh, I don't know. Just we'll call him next. So next and I sailed over here. Uh, top later later uh, joined us, and we made this uh, secondary. Oh, what is this? That's fancy. Oh, item stand, Sterling trophy. Oh, hey, that's kind of cool. That's really cool, actually. 
Uh, we made this kind of secondary base. Um, he, of course, top took the things out of here and left a hole in the ground. Thanks, dude. <laughs> you could have flattened that, could you? Um, made a cool dock. You're never going to see a cooler dock because this dock not only blends in with its surroundings, but it also will never, will never ever uh, degrade because it is made out of roof. And I thought that was kind of brilliant. Now, I don't know why the entire yard has to be carrots, but I guess it is. Um, again, there's three people manning this, so, you know, different uh, different creative approaches to stuff. <laughs> Everyone has their own idea how things should go. Some wood over here. Mm, let me see what do I have on me. So I have a bunch of garbage. I got like, garbage food. I got garbage whatever. Uh, this is more... <clears throat> this is like my exploration setup. Where I'm not really trying to go out and fight, you know, explore dungeons and all that stuff. I'm kind of going through and I'd rather just go and mark things. So that I could come back to them later. Now, uh, what I want to do is go around over here and see where this ends. This, this is a dark forest here, and that's a plains area. And I'm not going to survive if I go over here. I'm just going to get shit on. Um, so, before we leave, actually, let me do one more thing. Cause we're probably going to need to make a boat. Probably. Like, if we get all the way over there, and like the, and then we go from... We transitions from the dark black forest to the plains, I'm not going to be able to go anywhere. I'm going to have to come all the way back. That's just the way that the game is set up right now. The plains is the um, is the high-level content. <clears throat> and so that ends up taking... Um, well, that's basically going to just fuck me up. <laughs> the characters are the... The mobs that are there are just too damn strong. Let me go ahead and move some of this over. Good. Just so we can free up some space. I take my swamp key just in case and some bombs just for fun. I don't know if we'll use them. We'll see. This is the back and forth I'm talking about. Oh, I forgot one thing. Oh, let me go grab this thing. Oh, you know, I don't have the resources for this. Let me go mine. The, let me go mine or gather the resources for blank. So that way I could turn around and come back and, and go do that one thing that I meant to do. And when I first started off this on this journey, oh, man, the game just gets you like that. Um, we're going to save the Ikther buff just in case we get caught by like a death mosquito or something because that kind of thing happens and we're gonna go out here we're looking for where we're gonna flag um basically anything we can if we find structures like this if we could find uh, uh bees nests that'd be awesome flathead arrow yeah it's a starting zone uh we'll take the torch we'll probably toss it if we need the space they're so cheap to make so it's no, not really worth carrying them around so you know let's talk about like the beginning experience in the game because you know, this is a server. Right now, only two people are on, right? Yeah. Earlier, there was like three or four. Yes, last night, there was like six. Um, there are a number of people playing uh, this game, like, in our in our community. It's like the most played game right now. It's actually it was really close to World of Warcraft, which was crazy. I believe there should be something underneath here besides just that, right? Nope, I guess not. What did it give me? Just some stone? Get out of here with that stone bullshit. Um, so it is, yeah, it's like our most played game right now. Oh, fucking necks. More necks. I don't need neck meat right now. So, you know, we have a server set up. It's basically if anybody that's a sub on, on Twitch can get in. Um, and the information is in our Discord. So the sub will give you access to Discord, etc, etc. We, we need mushrooms eventually. Uh, and <clears throat> when you when you join a server that's already you know, oh, somebody actually mined this out. Okay, so somebody's been here. Top, probably. Um, when you join a server that's already in progress, especially a server that is so far along. Like, we are third boss down. I haven't defeated the third boss yet, but uh, somebody on the server did. Um, I don't believe we've done the fourth boss yet, but it's hard to tell. It, it depends. Uh, the only way to tell is like if, it, if a special kind of raid event happens, where, like, you know, these enemies show up and they start wrecking your stuff. Um... When you down the third, the second, third, third, third boss, you get a special kind of event, and you're like, okay, so we definitely, you know, took care of the, uh, the first, the, the third boss. We go and take care of these guys here. See if there's anything in here. Ah, you know, we're gonna collect all of these thistles. There we go. Some arrows. Not necessarily worth it. Oh gosh, so many of these guys. Oh, I'm out of I'm out of uh, stam. Okay, we'll let this guy go for a second. Some gold. Oh, chump. I don't need any of what these guys are carrying, so we're gonna ditch this stuff later on. <laughs> I don't need any of that crap. <laughs> right now, I want to go and I want to explore and I want to try to find um, dungeons to flag. Uh, I want to see if there's another swamp over here because that means more iron to collect. I've already cleared out of uh, all of this, all of this over here, so. 
I want to go through here and <clears throat> and see what I can find in terms of like other biomes and such, and also just to see what's on our island. This is our new island here, so we want to explore it. So when you're starting off on a, on a, on an, in a map or in a world that has uh, already been ransacked, right, the starting area, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're stuck. Like a lot of people I notice. Oops, hold on, get this out. Oh, you know what? It's a perfect opportunity. Never mind. I keep one shot these guys. I'll just say perfect opportunity to bring out my 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 sledge. But I've seen a lot of complaints from people saying that they um, boop boop boop, done done done. They don't have any resources at the nearby crypts, right? And so the thing is with these, like look where this one's at, right? We're gonna flag it. I don't know if it's uh, if there's anything in it. Put a C on it. Come on, double click. There we go. Um, the thing is, like this one is here, right? The starting area is over here. The game is a ton of islands. Like seriously, it's just a ton of islands all over the place. So if you're on a map that's already fairly evolved, right, fairly far along, then that doesn't necessarily mean if there's an enemy here, we're just gonna run right out. Yep. All right, cool. We don't need anything in here right now, but we might come back later for some stuff, money and all that. Um. So if it's if it's an established uh, server with lots of people playing, you probably have a portal hub that's at the at the beginning. Most most multiplayer servers do this, where they'll have a portal hub right next to your starting zone. Jump in there and then go to anybody's house and then just jump out of that house. Like for example, I would take the portal hub to let's just pretend Clunky Co is like way far away, right? We'll jump in Clunky Co, then we'll jump out and then we'll go over here and we'll explore and we'll find another meadows area or another dark forest that has a lot more resources that are not that are untapped. Um, you we've been playing this game for so long this is a big ah troll cave there's probably somebody in there so we'll go ahead and actually mark this one as well again this is useful for later on but you know if i was a starting player i could have set up that little bit of meadows that we have down there uh, where we started and then uh and then started exploring this nearby completely untouched land and the world is so damn big that even for, I think there's probably like 15 people that can alternate, maybe more that alternate on the server. Um, uh oh, this is uh plains area. I cannot be here. Oh, no, 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 it's not. No, it's not. It's just the color on the minimap. Sorry, freaking me out. I will die. <laughs> I'm like, there's no question about it. I will die if I get caught by, uh, by a death mosquito. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna be careful. Yeah, it's just a fog on the mini map there, freaking me out. Jesus. Ah. So yeah, plenty of resources all over the map, even with 15 people playing off and on. Uh, maybe more actually. I have no idea how many people have, have played on this server. That looks like that might be planes or just the fog. Just we just fog. Oh no, that's a pretty defined line right there, son. Yep. This is pretty much what I expected. I expected to get over here and then run to a dead end. Where there's going to be just yeah right over there death mosquitoes we go over there we die so what we're gonna do is first we're gonna defend our post our position oh let's go grab he's got some wood he probably dropped then we're gonna come down here and i might have to build something else romeo just arrived cool 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 See, I need 10 wood. Okay. Yeah, I didn't bring enough wood. I fine wood for the boat, but not enough wood to make the, uh, the thing. So we'll go ahead and we'll chop down some trees to make so we can make our... Oh, blueberries! One of the reasons why I came out. Chop down some trees. Get the wood that we need. So it doesn't roll off into the ocean. Which has been known to do. There it goes. Whoa, okay. Yeah, that one's gone. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of directions it could roll. It could, it could fall. It just has to fall in that, that one way, I guess. All right, so we'll start up here. Whoa, 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 chill, 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 chill. Okay, get our stamina back here. So we're gonna jump into a boat and we're gonna go around this and we're gonna see what's on the other side. Lots of core wood. That's cool, but I don't need that right now. Shaman coming over here. Try to start some mess. I have no stamina. I have enough. I could probably belt this guy down with the, with the bolts here. There we go. Or one. That's cool too. <laughs> Make me look strong. 
Okay, that's definitely enough. Is this a, uh, no, it's not. Okay. So thank you, uh, trees contribution. Run down here. Okay, this should be good. We're gonna set up shop. Yeah, like, you know, whatever. Whatever, there we go. Then, we're gonna turn around. Oh gosh, there's somebody coming again. And we're gonna make a carve. Don't make a raft. Just skip the raft, please. Please just skip the raft. Just skip the damn raft. Seriously, it's just, it's so damn slow. And if you get caught by a serpent, like, you're screwed. Like, there's, there's no, there's nothing you could do. You're just super screwed. Done. All right, cool. That's good. Just going on there. I'm gonna put some stuff away here. Like, I guess the money, the stone we don't necessarily need. So we'll just uh, chuck that over the water. There we go. And then uh, stone for, or uh, wood for making stuff. And then everything else we'll just go and hold on to. I should go and take that for them there too. All right, let's go. Oh, there's no, uh, oh nice, no wind. Sweet, so if we get caught by a desk, we're gonna have to reverse and get the fuck out. <laughs> Hey, here we go. A nice little adventure. We just have to keep our distance from that. So let's see. What have we done? So we can pretty much clear that, yeah, there's probably maybe one or two more crypts in there. Uh, if we need to go in there for any reason. But this is all meadows right here. It's bordering, I mean, it's bordering some pretty dangerous planes, but at least, you know, if, uh, if somebody were, were new setting up on the server, um, and they wanted a place to go and, um, and you know, that people were familiar with. It's like, hey, where can I go to get started kind of quickly? And it's like, hey, come here. And you can set up and then, uh, I mean, I wouldn't let you live, like, in our place. You know, you'd have to go out on your own. <laughs> but it's a nice big meadows there. You could go and set up on the corner or something. Pretty dangerous, though. There's plenty of other spots you'd want to go, honestly. Like, I don't think that that's probably the spot you want to go. Uh, unless you're like us, where you're, like, second base, perfectly... You know, uh, located in terms of like, you know, easy access to the swamp, we clear the swamp. Easy access to the, to the mountain, we've gone through and we've mined that mountain. You know, not entirely, but we've, we've started working on it. Um, <clears throat> and then of course the plains, once we're ready for that kind of commitment. Then we go to the plains. Oh, we got wind! Here we go! And this is actually where we get some music. Let's go and turn the music on. I knew I was missing something. Yeah. Give me some of that. Game's got some solid music, especially when you're out here. When you're out here on the water, and the horns start playing. It's beautiful. Take a drink. Take a drink and relax. <sighs> Let's see. We are going into uncharted territory, for for me, anyways. Top said that he went around the island already. I don't remember what he said about it though. I kind of tuned him out. I don't. I don't like um, when I go to somewhere new and I want to explore. I don't like when somebody tries to tell me, you know, and it's nothing. It's not against Top or anything like that. Like he just wanted to let me know that it was a good spot, I guess, and I can't remember why because I tuned it out. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I want to explore it on my. I want to explore it. And I want to be, you know, if I sit up there. I may not be able to uh, to stay up until four o'clock in the morning and and explore the entire island. But I still want to experience it for the first time, whether it's by myself or whatever. Um, and so, yeah, this is uh, this is a good opportunity to just go and explore this island and start flagging things that we can use later. Oh Lord, look at what it is. Okay. So there's a bit of a debate right now. I've heard this is a magic frog. Uh, I've heard, and, and I and I've said that it's a turtle. I think it's a turtle, but you know, I could be wrong. Could could be wrong. I don't think I'm wrong, but I could be. But on this turtle, we're gonna call it a turtle. There are some barnacles. And those barnacles could be used to make harpoons. And other things as well. So we're gonna see if we can't slide over there. Let's go ahead and eat. Top off on whatever. Don't really have any good food. <laughs> Swing this boy around. Stop it. There we go. That should be a good spot right there. Nice. Let's not let it drift off too far. There's his eyes right there. Okay. I wanna keep it close. Okay. 
cool. That's gonna float there for a minute. Let's see if I can't mine some of these. Now it's getting mad already. Boat's still there. Okay, we just gotta make sure that we... One, we gotta be fast. And two... Gotta make sure that we save some stamina. Because... Oh, there's a serpent over here too. Fucking jeez. You know what? Let's stop this. This is bad if this serpent gets us. <laughs> Obviously. No, 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 no. This thing's going down, isn't it? Let's go and switch to obsidian. Oh shit. It's going down. It's going down, it's going down, it's going down. Great, I'm gonna be in the water with this dam. Come on, come on, go, go, swim, 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 swim. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Get up. Get some speed. Turn it. Right there, good. See if we get some speed up before this guy comes back. I already did a little bit of damage, so that probably scared him off. This is what I love about this game. I'm just out here exploring, doing blank. And then something else happens, and you get pulled into a fight, or into a confrontation, or into whatever. Oh, the wind shifted. To go with us. Oh, beautiful. Come at me now. Come at me now! <laughs> Ah, scared. Scared him off! Oh man, harrowing. Harrowing! You don't feel rested anymore. I don't! <laughs> oh, here he comes. Yeah, let's go. I dare, I dare it. I got my obsidian, my obsidian stuff's locked down. I'm like Hawkeye. I'm like, click, click. Let's do it. Let's do it. Got the horns going. I'm ready. I don't know if I'll survive, necessarily, but I'm gonna slow it down a little bit. I'm gonna taunt him some. They, they usually run away when they run low on health. And I only hit him twice, so that, that leaves me a little bit of confidence, actually. I've never defeated one of those on my own. But they will wreck this boat if, uh, if left unattended. <laughs> if you just let them, they will definitely wreck the boat. Okay, so what is this over here? This looks... Oh, it's planes. We got turn. You're not... not doing that. So it's still planes. It's gonna panic, look around constantly. I believe I'm too far for uh, for death mosquitoes, but boy, like you'd be surprised. Their rage has a huge aggro radius. Okay, I think the serpent is definitely gone now. Some rough waters. Not really uncovering any of the land here, which kind of sucks, but at least I'll know that there's planes through here. Just want to get closer, just kind of tag a little bit of land on the mini-map there. But not too close to make them mad. Yeah, it's not going to happen. If I get within range for the boat to see, or for the mini-map to uncover, the fog of war to be lifted, then I'm definitely going to be within range for a death skeeter to come out and start some shit. This is a huge plains area, though. Look at this, from here to like here at least? Let me leave a marker. Let's not turn into it, though. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm really pushing it, aren't I? Deskito shows up, wind shifts completely, and I'm just basically left here looking like a jerk. See, I'm going to mark that on the map just to uh, remind myself later that the planes extend this far down. And wherever we wherever we transition to whatever the next biome is, I'll mark that as well. So that way we'll, we'll know just how far this thing goes. I don't know what those tall pyres are. I don't know what any of this stuff is. This is all foreign to me. Waves are getting crazy. They're pretty though. Look at that. Oh man. Look at that. They will throw you off course. I think I mentioned this in my name for breakfast. Um, but yeah, if you are just cruising straight and then you get some, uh, uh oh, I see land. I expect aggro. 
Um, they will toss you off your course, for sure. I've been turned a whole 90 degrees, actually, by um, by some waves going, going ham. Uh-oh, what is this? It's not fair. It's not fair if there's mobs spawning on these little chunks, little islands all the way out here. Oh, guys, another one over there. <laughs> Am I in the plains right now? No, dude. This is not right. Okay, we're in the plains, I guess. That's a swamp over there. But that's on another island, though. Actually, it might be safer to go over there. <laughs> it's definitely safer to go over there. I didn't bring any poison pots, though, so it'd be a little bit of a risk. Poison, No poison pots and uh, crappy food. Yeah. Look at those spires. Beautiful. I wonder if I could take an axe to it or pickaxe to it and mine them and they fall over like trees. I don't know. I'm gonna get wide enough here where I can um, hopefully turn it. I can't believe the plane goes all the way down here. This is a huge strip of uh, biome there. Like that's that's pretty big. You think by any by any biome standards. Like, look up here. It's like you have meadows. It goes pretty far actually, but there's like dark forest here, dark forest here and here. So that's kind of surrounded by it. So maybe yeah. I guess it is definitely very plausible. It's just one gigantic strip of plains. I told you guys the wind was going to give up on us. The first few times I took a boat out, I was on the edge of my seat. Puckering everything, man. Like, just... Just... <laughs> just scared shitless that something was going to happen because stuff happens. <laughs> like, stuff happens. Um, but I've come a bit more prepared. Like, I'm not bringing... Like, I don't have, uh, like, all my best stuff. I may have uh, this stuff. I, if I lost out, I'd be pretty upset. Uh, but I'm wearing my troll gear, which is kind of like my exploring gear. I can run faster in it, so I can kind of escape fights and whatnot. Um, I'm bringing crappy food, you know, just like mushrooms and carrot soup and, and some sausages, which I have a million of. Uh, so I am just basically coming with the bare minimum, strictly so that I can explore, learn more about whatever lands are surrounding us or some of the other players that are on the server. Oh, uh, there's a mountain right there. Oh, okay, so we have another mountain. So there's definitely going to be a transition point here soon. Mm-hmm. -hmm. And so, yeah, you basically travel in, in a way that um, you don't feel like if you lose it. Like, if I lose this gear that I'm wearing, like, it'll be a little upsetting, but I have so much troll, like, uh, leather, and it's so easy to get more that I could just turn around and just, you know, make another set and it'll again it'll just turn into my uh exploring set and that's it so yeah we do have a mountain it looks like is it, the, wait, is it a mountain no wait maybe it's not a mountain maybe that's sure looks like it it could be idrisil like the the uh one root of it or whatever but we are certainly reaching the end of the plains because there are trees here. Let's turn this a little bit. We'll get a little bit of speed. We'll do a little bit of cutting. Now, if you're wondering why I don't do, I think it's called cutting, uh, where you basically ride the way, ride the wind back and forth. Um, people have already kind of scienced it, and I haven't done it myself, so I don't know if I necessarily trust it, but they've said that it's faster to just use your ore to go straight, uh, than it is to, um, cut back and forth. So, there's a swamp over there. Cool, cool. So it's basically faster to do what I'm doing, what, what uh, what I was doing before, just cruising, instead of cutting back and forth. Now I'm going to turn this guy this way. I like how the mountain just goes right down and just meets the damn way. Oh shit, I can't really get enough. Ah, the music just turns off. Gotta love that. There we go. Catch some wind. We'll fly right towards it here. This wind is really, really 
annoying now. Where's that serpent at? So it looks like we have a little bit of dark forest on the edge of this plains. And it goes right into a mountain, perhaps? Still, freaking huge. Freaking huge plains area. Oh, and we lost it. We're gonna go ahead and set down right over here. Uh, let's make sure, though, that this is... It still says planes. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna need that to not say that before I decide to shoot towards land here. There's a building there, a structure of some sort. You'll find these structures all over the place. Usually they have like, um... They'll have uh, some loot or something in there. Oh, what the too far, what the too far. Oh, so there's... Okay, ocean, let's go get back over here. Okay, this is definitely not planes. This is dark forest for sure. There should be zero duskitos here. Please, God. <laughs> Please. Please. Yeah, this is Dark Force. It's just not updating, but this is Dark Force. If I die to Duskita right here, that's the end of the episode. Black Force. Look at that. Purdy. There's a little building over there, too. There's all kinds of stuff to explore. Hold on. Let's go ahead and, uh... We'll dock it. We don't want to get too close, like, where they could just walk out and just start slapping my shit. I didn't really have too many problems with them, uh... Harassing my my gear, so I don't know if I'm really worried about that. I think the guy here on this rock would probably be pretty safe. There's also a little something right there too. Ooh, this is what I love about this game, man. The exploration is just so good. All right, so what do we have? Uh, got a little bit of chitin here. Let me go put that in. We're definitely not going to pick up any more of that, uh, but we might pick up some thistle and that, and then wood. So we'll get rid of this. Uh, we're definitely going to pick up some more of that resin, probably. Cool. Let's go. Actually, we're gonna pull that out. I don't think it slows us down to have it. There's some dudes. Yeah, let's smash this thing and see what's in here. Skeletal remains. Okay, so nothing necessarily good. Skeletal remains. Usually it's what it is. I got time for you. I don't got time for this. Thistle. So there's a building over there. Uh, this is Black Forest. What was that? Oh, branch. So we can venture in here pretty safely. Collect all this stuff up. Shrooms. Love shrooms. There's a little river here. Ooh, this is nice. This is really nice. Look at this. A little, we're going to explore that in just a second. I want to go over here and see what this uh, building is. God, would you get out of my face? Chuck rocks at me? Get out of here. I'm at the level now, right? Or the, uh, the, uh, well, not level, but you know, I'm at the point now where I don't necessarily have to worry about those guys. Whoa! Even those guys are not too much of an issue. This is probably gonna be loaded with them, right? Let's go and bust the big boy out. Do, 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 just the watch up here. Hello, hello. Let me go ahead and give you one of these. Whoops, that might have been a mistake. Might have been a mistake. Oh, we got another one. Seems like a, can I not fit up here with my, I'm just so girthy. For reals? Hold on a second, what? Oh, this thing's in the way, hmm. Let me see if I can break this. I've never actually had to break one of these before. This one will do it, I think. One more. Okay, one more. All right, one more. Jesus. Just <sighs> taking all my damn stam. God. Oh, Jesus. What? 
There better be something good up there. There better be something amazing up there. Hold on, let's get down here. Hold on. Jeez, she bought some pots. There's nothing up there. I already know it. It's about the adventure. <laughs> but look at that. Look at that. Look at the mini-map. Let me zoom in a little bit. Look at that while he's here and strike this thing. You see how there's an opening there? There's a mouth of this little creek that goes all the way down? That is kind of cool. I like that a lot. And it goes right into the base of that mountain. So, what that means is... Uh, if we could slide through there without aggroing any mosquitoes, that'd be a great spot to slide in and, um... Park the boat and then go up the mountain, get some resources, get some uh, obsidian or whatever, and then or silver, uh, and then make our way back down. That would be the perfect, perfect place for that. Um, or I guess we could just like go around if the if the if the water meets the mountain base, which it looks like it might, and just do that. But it's not as cool. It's not as cool as taking a river, you know, going into the delta, and then uh, there it is. Jesus Christ! I can't. How much time do I have to fill here? Ugh, now you. Oh Jesus! Let me get up here. Excuse me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, give me a second here. Let me see. Oh, some gold. Some gold and amber. Okay, fine. Yep. <laughs> it's totally worth it. Should have looked at the view at least. I enjoyed that or something. Alright, let's put it away. Now let's go back over to wherever this thing... Whatever this thing is over here. What is that? It's probably angry something. Let's go and explore down here just to see... Oh yeah, this is getting dangerous. You could eat another bite. Some berries. You know what? Uh, I should eat another bite. I should definitely not not eat another bite. I don't have time. I need berries and juices for my hair. Let's go. Look at this. Oh, so many blueberries. Beautiful. This is like part of your daily thing that you end up doing, and this is this is why I, I call this kind of like my my new MMO is because I end up running around and doing okay good it's way over there, um, like daily stuff just like daily you know whatever, um, I'm gonna log in and go collect some berries. I'm gonna log in and go get some wood. I'm gonna log in and get some uh, uh, go explore and then tag a bunch of new locations that we could explore on stream or something. Uh, and, you know, you end up just, uh, getting involved in all these other extracurricular events <laughs> that happen. Like, you get attacked by a serpent when you're out there, or you get chased by a mosquito, or, you know, you're, you're, whatever. You get caught up with a troll or something. Yeah, here we go. I could use some bees, actually. I wouldn't, oh, I hear them. Would you get, would you just get out of here? Make me bring out the, the the tool here. All right, let's go ahead and swap. We don't need to have you know obsidian arrows to take down. I should I should bring some really crappy. Oh, there's a spawner in here. Okay, so we have bees and we have a spawner. There's a lot of dudes. <gasps> Bro, that's a lot of dudes. Holy crap! Hold on. I wonder if they're immune to this. Yeah, they're immune to that. I just figured I would you know try. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. I think what we need to do is... I'm not going to leave this spawner available because there's no point. There's plenty of spawners out there in the world. So what I'm going to do is just try to... Maybe meet them at the front door here. And then just... Give them the hammer. Just give him the hammer. Just a couple more strikes. There we go. Alright. This house is clear. Oh. There we go. This house is clear. Uh, where'd that- where'd the bees go? I heard them. <laughs> God, I wrecked this place. This hammer is so amazing. <laughs> I know there are bees somewhere. Oh boy. Did I just did I just annihilate them? Oh, you know what it was? It was the 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 flies buzzing around the damn Oh my gosh. It was the flies buzzing around the the, the rot pile there. Okay, did I get anything good? Didn't even get like a good trophy or anything? Let's go and click click all this stuff up. We don't need it, but I just want to collect it up and then put it down somewhere nice and neat. 
No, we're in inventory. Does that mean I'm at 50 already? No, 20 out of 50. Oh, well, that must be core wood or something. What is that? Fine wood? Fine wood. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, see it of this. And then we'll boop, boop to that. So there's another one in here. Nope, just another dude. A couple dudes. This place is just packed. Look at this. It sucks they don't have open doors. I'm just looking for bees. And then there's a nice big mountain here. This little pasture is really sexy though. I like this a lot. A lot. Let's go and smash these dudes up. Show them a good time. Here we go, Lucky. What's up, dude? Dudes. Yeah, we get, if we get an elite, we'll get a trophy, and we can, uh, I don't know, make another of these hammers and do a giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Ah! Demolition Man! There's Skelly here. Oh, you don't know what you're doing, man. <laughs> you have no idea. Let me see, my bags are full, though, so I'm probably not gonna pick up anything that I really want, right? Let me go and chuck the amber. Um, we'll go click all the wood. Sun is starting to set. We did a nice little bit of exploration today, I think. Somebody's in here, right? <laughs> it's just comedy. Just, just destroy the place and then turn around and uh, and open the door. Neck tail. See, flint, torch, flint head arrow. Oh, flint head arrow. You know what? That's pretty good to have. Uh, just to not have to worry about wasting good, good arrows. What is it? How many do I have? I, I, I did. I guess I didn't pick it up. Picked up a torch I don't need. Next thing I don't need. There we go. Twelve arrows. Yeah, there we go. Let's switch to that. So let's, let's run around over here. We'll leave our boat there. Where do we leave it? I should have marked it on the map. I'm usually pretty good at that. There it is. Let's mark this little map here. We'll just say just a little boop. There you go. Oh, MW. I don't know what that is. And then we're going to run over here. Just going to top off on food. On shrooms and uh, carrot soup. Mm-mm. It's going to mess up our stamina pretty bad. I just want to see where. See, like, there's a little patch of meadows here. The ma yeah, meadows over there. Dark forest here. I love the world gen in this. Whoa. Okay. I love the world gen in this because it just, uh, like, it just feels like it's really well designed. Like, you have these little pockets. Oh, is that a. Oh, dang it. I thought that was. Oh, I just want some bees, man. I need some more honey. Black forest again. But yeah, it, it feels like it's just, uh,. It's not generic where it's just, well, here's one big circle, that's one biome, and here's another, maybe this is an oblong uh, oval or something. It doesn't feel like that. It feels like the game generation is random enough, but also um, varied enough that, uh, or no, I'm sorry, but also structured enough that you get a big enough plot of meadows. You get a big enough plot of black forest to, uh, um, where it's not like, uh, and very rarely this has happened where like, you know, it's one single little spot, it's like a mini swamp or something. Like you've, I've seen that where there's like a couple of mini biomes, but I think that's by design because when you stand in the middle of like a little swamp that just appears out of nowhere, um, or just uh, in the middle of a dark forest or something like that, uh, it doesn't actually change the mini map to say that, you know? So I wonder if that's by design just to kind of give, you know, new adventurers kind of a taste of what they should expect coming uh, when they move on to the next biome. Just looking for. I mean, we're in the meadows now, so we're totally safe as long as we don't go over there. What are we looking at here? This is going to lead us back to that mountain there. I wonder if this is the same mountain, like a mountain range. I bet it is. I bet it is. So it looks like we have a great big plains going along this whole coast here, probably through here, and then uh, meadows. Yeah, here's the base of the mountain here. We're not going to explore this today. Maybe we'll do it another time, but I'm not, I'm not ready for it. I don't have my uh, pots. Ooh, what is this? Okay. 
Oh, look at this nice little house. Still scared. Open area. No bees. Are they sleeping? There's no nothing here. Huh. Oh! Meadows. Oh no, meadows. Uh, okay, too close. We're just too close to everything. I saw some skellies out there. Freaked out. Right there. Boom, boom. Two skellies. And that's definitely plants out there. The bonfire over there. Wow, that's a huge fire, whatever that is. I have no idea what this stuff is. Some of this stuff is so new to me. But yeah, we're definitely really close to the plane. So here we go. It looks like this is going to converge into... I might have to make another boat to go get my other boat. <laughs> it's been done. All right, so that's definitely planes that way. We just, we're running out of meadows. This is actually the end of meadows here. This little pocket here this is where it ends. Could skirt the edge of this without necessarily going freezing, but I think, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna smash this guy's face in. There we go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this away, get my stamina up. Oh! And we're gonna do this. And then we're gonna run. I could take that guy out, but I'd rather just get the fuck out because I don't want to start any beef with anybody over here right now. Not to mention I can't pick up his loot. I have too much crap in my bags. <laughs> I guess I get rid of like sticks or wood or something like that, but still. We'll just go ahead and sprint back home. He shouldn't follow me for too too long. Although the, the tether range on some of these guys is insane. Absolutely insane. I don't see him, but that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> that means absolutely nothing. Oh yeah, I'm not I'm ill prepared to go up that hill right now. But at least we know it's here. So quiet. Let it charge up a little bit so we can sprint the rest of the way home. We'll sprint to, or sprint to the boat and then we'll call it there. I'm gonna log out and go uh go make some food. Some hello fresh. Which by the way, if I'm a tangent, uh is has just been amazing. Um I've always had an interest in cooking, uh, but not like I, I'm not good at it. Like I don't know anything about cooking. Period. Right. Um, but HelloFresh has definitely given me an opportunity to uh, follow very simple, basic instructions. Uh oh. Right. Let's get him. Ah. <sighs> I don't know what that is either. I don't think anybody knows what that is yet. Mm -hmm. We might have to smash some necks. But anyways, uh, HelloFresh is giving me an opportunity. This is not an ad, by the way. <laughs> but HelloFresh is giving me an opportunity to like explore uh, the art of cooking. Um, and it's so many simple, like there's simple ass steps. You know, it's like six steps max. I'm waiting for my stam so I can swim across this. Uh, and like I've cooked a lot of really cool stuff and I've been able to use some of that knowledge to like, you know, when I'm cooking other things that are not on the menu, right? Um, or that are not like HelloFresh related items. Uh, it's given me um, more confidence in uh, trying to experiment a little bit there and try different things and make things better. That was some berries, which is the real reason why I came out today. Pick up some berries. Did I miss one? I feel like I did. There we go. But I want to beat up this guy. And then I'm gonna put this away. I'm gonna stand right over here on my boat, or right here. And this is where we're gonna sign off. I gotta take this thing back. You don't want to watch this. Actually, maybe I'll record another episode later. Where we take this thing around the rest of the island. I think that's probably a good, probably a good idea. I think we'll do that. I really want to see what's over here. And this is a long trek, so yeah, that'll be a good, that'll be a good fun episode, maybe too. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mike BAK Phony. If you guys like this kind of stuff, I, you, I've got a lot of requests to make this kind of content. And it may be, again, it made me think of Don't Starve where it's like, well, you're kind of just doing stuff. <laughs> you're kind of just doing stuff and just bullshitting. It's like, well, you know, I could do that. I think I could do that. So if you guys like it, great. If you don't like it, I'm sorry for breakfast episodes every Tuesday and Thursday. Okay. All right. And news. News every other week. All right. Have a good one. I'll see you guys later. Bye.